I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. Find a posture that helps you to feel really comfortable while also being present, stably, steadily present. And we're training the mind and training the brain as we learn how to simply be while letting go of both the future and the past. Letting go of any seeking other than the minimum amount necessary to remain present. We're learning what it's like to be present in the present, open, at ease, allowing everything to pass through awareness, like the sounds of a dog barking, sensations in your body. Finding a calming and centering in which we're not jostled one way or another. Jostling just flows through awareness. We're not chasing anything either. In Zen, they speak of no gaining mind. Also, Korean Zen don't know mind. Don't need to know. Don't need to fix, to solve. It's a little bit like you can let your attention move through your mind and kind of like identify one thing after another. And a little bit like the children's book, Good Night Moon, to say good night to it or let it go. You might even use your own name, like softly in the back of your mind if I were doing it. You can let that go, Rick. You don't need to worry about it. So I'll be quiet for a bit here. So you let your attention just kind of lightly um, be aware of yourself. And if you come upon places in your body that are tense, you can let them relax. If you come across shoulds, in your mind, you can just let them go or say to yourself, not now, I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to do that. Letting go of preoccupations, anxieties. You 
You can address those concerns later, solve those problems later, do those things later. See what it's like for now to release one after another. Tensions, stresses, worries, resentments. It's okay, let them go. Remaining stably present. If your mind wanders, bring it back, no worries. Supporting this presence is a sense of openness, a spaciousness of awareness.
as you abide in the present, releasing, letting go, you might like to bring particular attention to the area around your heart. Relaxing, opening in that area physically, while also emotionally, seeing if there are any obstructions to simply opening your heart. opening your heart and allowing a natural, authentic kindness, caringness, compassion, lovingness to flow. Not out of efforting or stressing, but rather tuning into your heart and releasing whatever obstructions you may find to opening it and resting in a kind of current or flow of lovingness.
resting in open-hearted presence. There can be a kind of growing shift of experiencing yourself as open-hearted presence. Not getting intellectually complicated about it. Seeing if there's an opening into experiencing yourself altogether as open-hearted presence. and meditating in this, as this. Abiding as open-hearted presence, not moving toward anything or away from anything.
If your concentration is crumbling a little or you're getting a little sleepy, it's okay to move a little, sit up a little straighter. Can you move with open-hearted presence? Can you find enjoyment of open-hearted presence? In open-hearted presence, you might find a quality of surrendering, also as a factor in helping you to stay present, surrendering to being present with an open heart. Surrendering all seeking, letting it go, at least for now.
you might have a sense of qualities of open-hearted presence sinking into you, spreading in your body, perhaps like a kind of calming or a quieting. In the last few minutes of this meditation, if you like, you might explore gently opening your eyes while continuing to abide as open-hearted presence. Staying in touch with the sense of this and see what it's like to Abide as open-hearted presence while um, seeing. Or perhaps moving a little. What's it like to act in small ways at least as open-hearted presence? We're connecting this quality of open-hearted presence with activity. You might look even at some of the faces on the screen while resting in open-hearted presence as you see other people. being mindful of, highlighting the qualities of open-hearted presence that are equanimous, neither move toward nor move away from anything while remaining present with it, with your heart open.
noticing that you might be able to read something in the room where you are, just a word or phrase, your mind can function. Your intellect can function while abiding as open-hearted presence. Thought can, can occur, planning can occur, decisions can be made while being open-hearted presence.